It's too hard to do anything outside. Hello, so what's up? Hope you're good. So today I wanted to answer one question. Why do I only read in English? So first, I'm not only reading in English. I read in other languages as well. But I'm gonna tell you why I read mostly in English. And yeah, there are not a lot of reasons. So I made a list. Let me check where I left the list. Just one sec. So I found the list. So I wrote down eight reasons why I prefer to read in English. So I wrote that a while ago. So I don't know exactly everything I put there. So um, if anything doesn't make sense, I'm going to try to explain it or I will try to understand it myself. So first, that's an easy one. English is my favorite language. So yeah, absolutely nothing special about it except my own opinion about English. I don't know. I love the way it sounds. Everyone has a different accent. It's also the, the most difficult language to learn. So yeah, English all along. Okay, so talking about the fact that English is one of, is actually my favorite language. It's also when you read in English, it's a great way to learn that language. Uh, if you want to learn Spanish, you can listen to music in Spanish. You can watch a show in Spanish. You can read a book in Spanish. You can do whatever you want in Spanish. So you know what I mean? Like it's a great way to learn one language. And I really don't believe that school is the best way to do it. So you need to practice outside school. You don't need only to learn new vocabulary or the grammar. Uh, you certainly need some basic stuff about it but more you practice more you're gonna learn and uh, i generally believe that and also what i generally believe is that when you're listening to an audiobook you are learning a new language or trying to improve that new language but you're also listening to the way everything is said actually so you're listening to the proper pronunciation so you're learning vocabulary grammar but also pronunciation, you're learning new expressions and everything. So I think that you should read a book in a foreign language to learn that language. And then when you can understand it or you're better at it, you should listen to an audiobook or anything else like a show and you will finish learning this language with the pronunciation. That's what I did. That's what helped me, but also a lot of traveling, obviously. Another reason why I started to read in English is that for some stuff, I can be very, very patient. For other stuff, I cannot. If one of my favorite series uh, published book one and second in French, and the third one is coming up, but only in English, I will buy the third one in English because I don't want to wait a month for the third one translated in French or any other language I speak. But I mean, yeah, I'm just impatient with that. So that's why I prefer to read in English. So I can have the book before my Belgian peers here. Also, something else I said at the beginning, I don't only read in English. If the author is French, I'm going to read in French and not in English. Why that? Also because it's going to be published earlier than the English version or blah, blah, blah. But because I feel like when you read a book in the language it was written, you're gonna understand things differently. You're gonna experience things differently. You're gonna understand the essence of the book differently. I mean, when I read, so I started to read Harry Potter in French, then I switched to English and I was like, oh wow, that's totally different. The spirit is not the same and you're like, the translator did an amazing job, I, especially for the three first books. So that's not the subject, but I'm going to let you know that. Uh, so talking about Harry Potter, book one, two, three, I prefer them in French. And then the rest, four, five, six, seven, I prefer them in English. Why? Because, as I said, the translator did an amazing job. And in English, 
book one through three, you can see that J.K. Rowling is all learning the proper way to write, to tell a story, etc. When the translator, I'm sure he was already an expert. So when he translated everything in French, he made it more natural than J.K. Rowling writing. That's my own opinion, okay? Don't get me wrong. I'm not saying that she was bad. She's a queen. I'm just saying that her writing, I felt it becoming better from book fourth to the end. And in French, I prefer the three first book. I don't like the rest of them in French. And also something that I hate in translation is like, muggle is a word that doesn't mean anything. It's been created by G.K. Rowling. Why did I have to translate it in another non-real word in French? Moldu. I mean, okay, it's easier for a French person to say moldu instead of mugger, but I still don't get it. If it doesn't mean anything to begin with, why should you translate it differently? It's like Hogwarts, Poudlard. Okay, I totally judge a book by its cover and English books, for me, in general, Australian covers, American covers, and British covers are way better than our covers here in Belgium or around. I know, it's only a cover, but it makes a difference. Another reason is that I want to understand all the fandom goodies and everything. So let's say I buy a shirt that has a Harry Potter code. If I haven't read the book in English, I wouldn't maybe understand or I wouldn't know it was from Harry Potter. You know what I mean? Like it's easier to find a fandom goodie written in English. Like even with my uh, Fairy Loot and Shelf Love Crate and uh, World of Wizardry boxes, Everything that's gonna be in there is gonna be in English because everyone understands them and understand what they mean. If you read in English, you know, be more connected to the fandom uh, sphere and everything. Yeah, that's what I feel. I don't know, I might be wrong, but that's how I feel about it. And the last reason, and that's probably the most important according to me, <laughs> is that I've been traveling a lot lately, like the past four years I've traveled a lot. And when you go to a bookstore in another country, it's easier to find an English bookstore than a bookstore from your own country. You know what I mean? Let's say that I travel to Brazil. I'm gonna stay in Brazil for a few years, etc. I'm sure it will be easier for me to find a bookstore that sells books in English than books in Bosnian, for instance. I'm gonna travel to Russia, I'm gonna stay there for a few years. I'm sure it will be easier to find a bookstore that sells English books than Slovenian books or French books. You know what I mean? Like English books are international and it will always be easier to find and buy those than others. I don't know if I make sense, but I totally make sense in my head. Well, that was it. Let's finish. That's pretty much all the reasons why I mostly read in English and why I will continue to read in English. If you have any other reasons, please share them down below. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you want to watch another video of mine. And for now, thank you for watching. See you soon. Take care. Bye.